Again, there are two ways of doing this, adding the adjustment first and only looking at the sky, or brushing in a mask first and then adding the, the, the effect. I'm going to add an effect right now without a mask. So um, let's see. Now that actually doesn't affect the sky too much here. So I'm going to leave it off. And the tones don't affect the sky. So see, even, even in those basic adjustments, now the, bringing down the highlights brings a bit more drama to the sky. A bit, little bit more contrast, color. Let's see what the saturation slider does. It, it, it increases the blues, obviously. And let's see if we can increase the structure here. So I'm going for a dramatic sky here. And I hope I'm not overdoing it. Now, now, obviously, that would be overdone, at least in my books. So that's that. Uh, that's a bit too much. And you know, when you get those dark parts, which look very grainy here, that's when it's overdone. So let me dial that back down. I'm just going to go up to a point where I see structure getting back into those uh, areas without introducing too many artifacts. It's always a good thing to open the details tab and see, I'm, I'm probably not going to add small and medium details because that would enforce that grungy kind of look. But let's try to, to see if we can add some large details here. And it actually adds some more dimension to this, uh, to this sky area, to, specifically to the clouds. Let's Let's reduce that to the, basically to the edges of the clouds only. So again, very subtle uh, effect, but it adds some more definition there. And one final thing is to, let me see, color filter, that's where it is. Let's see how it reacts to an increase in the blues. Now that's, that's probably putting it a little bit over the, the limit. So just a, just a tiny increase here of 11. And we have nice, rich, deep blues uh, with those very interesting uh, clouds mixed in. And I think that's going to be the adjustment. Now you see that the rest of the image suffered, obviously, because we have got very strong contrast here. So that didn't fit the rest of the image. But that's exactly why we have the masking stuff here, right? So I'm going to open the brush panel and just try some smaller brush and increase the opacity to a 100% and then I'm trying to mask that in. Okay, so let's just see, it's too big. I always try, try to strike the right size here to match the, the size of the details that I'm trying to, to mask. That's the, that's the real challenge in this kind of task. And I am being a little bit sloppy here. To, usually I would have to go in to 100%. No, I don't want to stretch that all the way down here. So I was not paying attention. Usually I would, I would just you know go into the 100% view and just be very, very delicate about drawing such a mask. In this way, with, in which I'm doing it right now, some of the portions are not masked, that should actually be masked, and the mask spills outside the area. But I'm just being a little bit sloppy deliberately here. And now I, I'm just, I've just created the, the, the border pa uh, part of this mask here, just around those areas. And now I'm just looking at the mask and I'm just trying to make sure that I get everything. Okay, and I can even increase my size right here, just so that I don't have to do that much brushing. Now you want to make sure once you have uh, the the border part uh, where the transition is to the rest of the image, perfect or near perfect, you want to make sure that you don't leave out anything here. 
because it's too easy if you don't have don't don't look at the mask to leave out some parts where the adjustment is not applied and that may look strange later on so i'm going to t pick up the eraser brush and brush away those parts here brushed away a little bit too much actually so i'm going to brush that in you see you really really would have to go to into a hundred percent view to get that right i'm just being a little bit sloppy here so let's remove that mask uh, view and you can see I've just brushed in the entire effect that I've added to the sky here. I can uh, disable this to see the before and after.